Completed in 1945 at a cost of $21 million, Shasta Dam, like many of the dams in California, was paid for mainly by the federal government. Besides preventing floods and droughts, it will furnish additional electricity for war industries. But after 1979, when New Malonis Reservoir was built, the era of federally funded dams in California came to an end at least until now. And of course, we have the problem now of storage because we haven't built storage. We haven't been able to capture the rain that has come. Democratic Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, like all the five major candidates for U.S. Senate, thinks it's time for the feds to get back into the dam building business. Considering that we are in a drought and even though it's El Nino year, Northern California got some water, but we in the South got very little. So when it comes, we need to be able to capture it. The federal government needs to be a part of that. I would do that today. We have a crisis in this state overall. Our farmers are being devastated in the Central Valley. Former Republican Party Chair Duff Sundheim says he would help pay for new dams and other water projects by diverting the federal money budgeted for California's high-speed rail project. Absolutely. I mean, I would take the money that's being allocated for high-speed rail, stop that immediately, and take that money and increase above-ground storage, below-ground storage, recycling, recycling of water, and desalinization. And the federal government has a role to play. Tom Del Belcaro, another former Republican Party chair, says he would also look at changing federal regulations that limit tree cutting. They need to make it easier to thin the forest and increase runoff. Where there are federal existing federal projects, Shasta Dam or other places, money could be used to ex extend the height of, the dam of, of existing dams. So I am open to that. I think we have to be careful about how we construct them. Democratic Attorney General Kamala Harris says she too supports water infrastructure projects, but says she also supports the Federal Endangered Species Act, which is designed to protect endangered fish, including those hurt by past dam construction. We know, and I'm a firm believer, that when we when, when species start dying, um, that should be a wake-up call to all of us um, in terms of what we're doing with our ecosystem and what we're doing in terms of the future for our children and our grandchildren. To be honest, this is not an issue I've studied in detail. Republican software executive Ron Unn says California has benefited from past dam construction, but he's not sure Washington can afford such projects today. You know, the budgets are very tight right now. I mean, you know, basically, the country is almost bankrupt. Unn says he, too, supports the Endangered Species Act, but says some aspects of it might have been taken too far. And if it were, you know, if I really decided after hearing both sides that made sense to trim back certain aspects of the Endangered Species Act, I probably would support that. For Commitment 2016, I'm David Beenick, KCRA 3 News.